six rotation player, but you just saw in that first set, pay attention, keep track of when she's swinging hard, and then when she reaches in that toolbox and she tips and rolls. Just there as the Illini start off strong here in set number two. And a strong serve as well. Land fair. Tough swing, hits off the block. Many holes. Speaking of freshmen, Olivia Mauk getting into the game, the defensive specialist for the Huskers. Having a nice freshman season. As Terry hits it off the block. Oh, what a kill from Merritt Beeson. She's going to capitalize. Beeson averaging 2.84 kills per set coming into this match. Terry Rodriguez just gets it over. And Beeson finishes the point. But Lexi Rodriguez somehow taking a step off of the net and putting over a nice heavy swing. Malka Bennington, Nebraska native. Tough battle at the net there. Goals after points. It feels like they are just speaking to each other via telepathically. Oh, quick set and a quick kill from Philpott. Service error, though, does lead to a point for Nebraska. But again, Ashlyn Philpott, the freshman middle blocker, a player who Coach Thomas mentioned, live arm really fast swing and can get on the ball quickly. That's what we just saw in that point prior. Rodriguez, the senior out of Sterling, Illinois, at the service line. Oh, and again, Philpott shows what she can do. Swing faster. It's like, imagine your elbow to your hand is a whip. She has a natural talent to be able to do that. A little joust at the net. Goes. Terry, well placed serve. Nice dig. How about Lily Berry fired up after she kept that ball up? Great serve from three about two hitters at that point, able to execute and then transition into their offense effectively. Terry with the serve. High one for Beeson to put it right back down. Hit a lot more with the senior libero defensive specialist, Caroline Barnes, out dealing with an injury. Overpass, slammed right back down. Bergen Riley. Everything in me not to go, whoa, what a serve from Merritt Beeson because she's going kind of across court in the float. Pay attention to how it drops. And we kind of have this thing, this this little quip, left is right, right is wrong. That right side platform angle, really hard. And then Illinois does a great job of a hard set from where that ball is coming on serve receive. That one finds the corner. Nebraska gets it right back, but Philpott with five kills hitting four. Blackwell also having a really effective game here. Three kills now for the Huskers. Murray. Nice up. Terry from the back row sent back. What a shot. Really well done by Hernandez. By your defense, remember, your block is how your defense establishes where they're supposed to be on the court. Riley tries the dump. Martinez Mundo's there. Sent over by Murray. Off the block and out. Avery Hernandez does it again. What a Almost a free ball situation. Illinois able to transa transition fast and effectively. Mosher with a laser of a serve. Joe Boy came up with the receive. Big kill from Smith. You don't know where she's hitting the ball, doing a great job of keeping Nebraska guessing. 
Mosher doing a great job from the service line. Free ball over. Tip off the block. Avery Hernandez get that Nebraska puts over. The Illini now with a two-point lead. Mosher sends over another bullet. Landfair. Hernandez dug up by Murray. Just at the net point, Illini. Mosher is at the service line again. Wow. An ace for Brooke Mosher. She is on fire. Even Lexi Rodriguez cannot return this ball. I mean, there's not much you can do when the ball's coming that fast and that deep. You kind of got to gamble and say, well, I kind of hope it's out, especially in the seam. She's exactly between those two players. Mosher's first ace of the match. As that time, it's a little too strong. So again, we kind of pointed out the risk reward. I mean, that's kind of the philosophy in college volleyball now is instead of just being safe with your serve, uh, uh, a coach put this like this the other day, I'd rather take four misses on serves instead of five first ball side outs because of, but you're really just going to force the other team out of system, target specific players. Kind of that word purposeful comes up. You want purposeful serves. That ball goes out of play, but want to mention Kennedy Orr, as we were talking about service aces, just had an ace a point prior. The game, so we're seeing a little bit of the not usual suspects for Nebraska playing, getting some reps. Point Illini as they go to the service line after the touch on that last ball. Landfair, deny. Landfair again. Net violation is called. So that is going to be a point for the Huskers. At the service line. Terry. Illinois holding this three-point lead. They're able to execute. Martinez Mundo with the serve. Landfair. It's that undefendable donut in the middle of the court. Smith with six kills. Tough serve. <laughs> Terry! Oh, Rodriguez! Somehow keeps it up. Terry again off the block. Set to the middle, set right back over. Becca Alex says, thank you very much. There's no other way to Alec able to shut any momentum that Illinois has down. Malk at the service line. Terry. Two to stop the block, four point lead for the Illini. Tied for the team lead with Hernandez. Another service error, so that's nine now for the Illini. When it comes to drawing that line between too aggressive, you're Kylan. But I will say, uh, uh, you know, my college coach used to say, hey, if you're going to miss it, make sure you're missing it over the net so it gives it a chance for the other team to at least get their hands on it or make a mistake themselves. Now, again, the general consensus and, and vibe that every NC2A coach across every conference has navigated towards is I'd rather have a purposeful serve going up there instead of just some dainty lollipop. The block party going for the Huskers, that last point. Murray! After your game at home is what I'm being told <laughs> that it said. <laughs> Nebraska fans are ruthless. We love them. Y'all, you're listening. You have done tremendous positive impact on this sport. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Merritt Beeson gets the kill. She says thank you. Set number two is now tied up at 16 apiece. Let's just stay. Illinois goes in a 5-0, 6-0 scoring run coming out of that timeout. And Nebraska says, okay, yeah, we can do that. Of course, we don't even have, you know, the players that have played the most sets this mat, this, this season, we can still do that. 
Rodriguez with the ace to give Nebraska a one-point lead. She is the best libero in the country. Almost, it's almost speechless to talk about her because there's just nothing she does poorly. That one does go long. So another point for the Huskers. They overtake the three of the five calls. You can also reverse the call on those. Set number two now tied after that call was overturned. Beeson sent right back at her. Beeson that time. Really smart. Nebraska one point lead. Well, why wouldn't you if you're Bergen Riley? Why wouldn't you just keep setting her? Keep setting her. Keep setting her. She knows how to put balls down. She knows even though everybody's kind of over the clock and she's going to be mismatched, she can handle it. Beeson now at the service line. Beeson with the ace. Back to back points. One by Merritt Beeson. Six four senior outside hitter has had an electric career, and you see during those last couple points that experience come to play. <laughs> the one thing I had in my scouting of Merritt Merit Beeson was she has a nasty serve. <laughs> Touch is called, point for the Illini, which makes it that much important to go. Riley. Other Riley. <laughs> Blackwell. Ends up going long, so it's a point for the Illini. Love it. Their energy with those two and seeing Bergen Riley talk about her sister this week was, it just it made me all warm and fuzzy. Hernandez off the block. Great D, though, by the Huskers. Hernandez off hands. Murray. Oh, great hustle. Murray tries again. Barry keeps it in play. Every time you walk into someone else's gym or someone else walks into your gym, you got a target on your back. They're bringing their A game. Murray into the block. Wow. Carrie Bohm, all smiles after that one. Murray, response. Opportunity, get your confidence back rolling. Pass, no problem for the Huskers. Blackwell right up there with Landfair. Landfair with six. Hernandez, Murray the dig. How about that attack? Blackwell in the Big Ten that make it such a hard conference to play in. Well, when you know Nebraska's coming to town, too, you're going to sell out because people come for a show. And this second set certainly has been that. Husker. Illinois trying to break that momentum that Nebraska just got. And then look at that little bit late on the block, but still putting her hands up again. It's so imperative that your hands are just pressed over the net. Huge momentum shifter or, or keeping that momentum in Nebraska's favor. And Illinois back in there with the momentum. This is just back and forth. Down one, three points to win the set. We have one of the most dynamic servers for Illinois back at the service line. Mosher with one ace so far. The back set to Smith. Nebraska with a set point. Taylor. Kennedy Orr with the serve. And it's going to be a service ace for Kennedy Orr. Nebraska takes set number two.